Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW X3, X4. And if you need to remove or replace rear drive shaft bearing assembly, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that. We have a video about the symptoms of bad rear drive shaft bearing assembly as well. That will uh, help you recognize if you have a bad one. But uh, before we start, let me tell you guys, okay, a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why? Because our mission the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos and uh, if you guys need to buy new bearing parts tools for your bmw or any car you want to save quite a bit of money check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money so let's explain how to do that now so we are going to lift it up now okay we're gonna go all the way in the air we're using the quick jack uh, you can check out the link in the description of the video below where we purchased ours from how much it is it's amazing too okay we're going to go ahead and do that the quick jack you're supposed to use it the other way we flipped it that way uh, because uh, we need more room okay on the front but the safest ways to use it is you need to turn the rail 180 degrees okay let's see if it's going to lock perfect so the first thing that we will do we're going to remove the vacuum okay from the exhaust right here we're going to disconnect that line okay that's out next uh, we need to disconnect guys okay the exhaust so right here we'll have one mount we have it supported by the jack here not to fall on us so 13 millimeter socket okay deep socket Nope, let's go ahead and try it by hand. Pretty tight, you might have a little bit of rust here and there too. Ours doesn't, because it's been driven in the southern states. You can see it's seven, six, seven year old, but it's still pretty, pretty good looking underneath. That makes a difference where you live, guys. So, let's go ahead. I'll go support it just in case a little bit. The nut came out. Second nut now, perfect, this one came out too. Now, we have 19 millimeter, ah, uh, 13 millimeter, excuse me, right there, we have another mount. Okay, that's the second mount we need to remove. Let's go ahead, do that. Perfect. Now, let's see what else we need to do. Uh, we will have one bigger 19 millimeter socket, okay, right there. And we have one big mount that we need to remove. Right there, right in front of the rear differential. Now will be the time to inspect your bushings, inspect everything in the back, make sure everything's good because if they fail okay you may start wearing tires have unstable vehicle have play feel kind of like loose rear end so now i'm gonna drop the jack down slowly let's hold the okay the exhaust uh, let me just position the camera here so i can operate the jack with two hands okay It's coming down, coming down more. Okay, that's it, right there. Let me go ahead, okay, and support it here just a little bit, okay. That's enough to give us some clearance there now. So, next, we need to start removing, okay. Uh, screws from the uh, from the thermal shield there with the 10 millimeter first we're going to start and it's one towards the very front okay that's a nut 10 millimeter nut so next we're going to switch to 8 millimeter and we have quite a few uh, you can see the rear drive shaft is right there as well Okay. 
so we just need to start doing that one by one your fuel tank is right there as well okay you can see all that in the fuel tank just love seeing a car with zero rust underneath guys because having rust makes things so much taking things apart, removing bolts, bolts will, will snap, they will not want to get loose. Okay, let's see, we can actually wiggle the exhaust a little bit if we need to get it out of the way. So, this one will not be able to reach with the impact, we'll just have to do it by hand. Inspect to make sure that these covers for the ABS are closed too because two of ours were open. I don't know if water got them or something. Okay, scent and dust can fall, so goggles. Glasses are recommended because otherwise you can get things in your eyes. I can see dirt and dust falling over. Okay, we're going on the other side. The same thing there. And uh, we missed one. I see it right there. One is holding still. Okay, now let's see. All the scent and stuff, let's see how we're going to flip that thing to come out. Okay, I'm gonna drop the exhaust a little bit more. Okay, let's try now. Okay, hop, we're almost just towards the back a little bit holding there. Okay, it's stuck a little bit towards the back here in the plastic. towards me here the plastic okay it came loose okay it came loose and it came out you can see uh, just like that guys we got it out so i came to the front of the vehicle now guys okay the uh guibo the flex joint is right here we pre-loosen the bolts what we did we have the car in the air okay when you have the car in the air it's pretty easy uh due to the fact that uh, uh once you usually you can reach two bolts the last one you can the third one uh, but uh, uh, what we did, we put the car in neutral, we turned the drive shaft by hand, put it in park, put, apply the uh, parking brake on, and we were ready to go. Now, we need to go ahead and remove them. We'll be removing the whole drive shaft. We'll be doing the flex joint and drive shaft bearing replacement. That's what I recommend, not just the flex joint, because you don't want to do that so twice. So we'll go ahead, do that, just get it loose that's the bolt you can see now we need two more to remove okay you need to remember the position of the bolts okay how they go later and everything the guibo nuts will be on the towards the front side of the vehicle the bolts are coming from the back to the front careful something not to drop on your face perfect now guys okay let's see it came out okay and if you're just replacing the guibo you're ready to go now all you have to do just unscrew those and replace them but we'll be removing the whole drive shaft so we'll be replacing the drive shaft bearing inspect the drive shaft so if you're replacing a rear drive shaft the procedure will be the same so here we have three bolts on this side with uh, what is that 13 millimeter yep then we need to remove So we'll go ahead and do that.
All right, perfect. Now, let's go ahead and remove them. That support will need to come out, so we'll be able to remove the uh, drive shaft support bearing, and we'll be able to slide the whole drive shaft out of the vehicle. Hopefully, everything will come out. All right, working on the last one now there. A little bit hard to reach now. Right there, we have three more guys. Okay, you can see them on this side. Okay, perfect. I think I can get a good view like that. We'll remove those now. Later, you need to install everything in the reverse order. We took it apart, right? Don't forget. This is your transfer case right here. That's uh, what it looks like. That's the front drive shaft going to the front tires. So practically, almost everything looks the same like a 3 and 4 series BMW underneath, guys. Okay, we'll need to remove the last one too there. Thought about swinging it, see if we can move a little bit, but we can't. Okay, remember which way it faces later, so everything can come, okay, correctly. This is the rear of the vehicle, this is the front facing this way, okay. So we don't need to guess later and everything can come perfect. Now, two bolts for the support bearing and that drive shaft can fall on you. So you need to support it and hold it, remember that. So 13 millimeter socket. Okay, we're getting things loose. Another one now there. Perfect. Now the last one, I'm going to hold on this side a little bit so it doesn't drop. It's going to start falling, it's heavy. Okay, let me hold it good. Let's pull it out. Flex joint out of here. Drive shaft, we need to slide it out. Careful not to fall on you. We just need to grab it and pull it out from the back. Okay, with two hands. Uh, let's see how it's stuck now there. So now the easiest thing guys that we're doing here, okay, we'll try to do it without removing the drive shaft. Uh, practically, okay, uh, we need to mark the front and the rear shaft to come at the same position, right? So later we can pull it together because everything's balanced perfectly, guys. Uh, so go ahead, mark those, okay? We'll mark on one side with one. Uh, we'll turn on the other side, mark with the another cover just in case. Always mark two spots, okay? Just in case if something once get wiped out or something you can actually go ahead okay and see, still see uh, and we'll need to press that bearing out the easiest thing is to remove the rear drive shaft do it on a press we guys will be improvising we don't have the two to remove it on the back we sprayed pb blaster it's amazing by the way and i'm holding here a little bit supporting with a hammer and a, a punch guys right there on the bearing It's coming out a little bit. Let's go. Turn the drive shaft. You need to make sure that your emergency brake is off so we can turn the drive shaft so we can uh, hit a different location. Let me turn that bearing a little bit. Okay. Like that. And let's just hit it. Okay. Almost, almost coming out. We can see about four millimeters. We clear now. Okay, let's try again. 
on different angle. It came out quite a bit, just be careful not to hit the axle. Okay, it's coming out. Just not to hit the axle on the inside. So don't use a screwdriver or anything because it may slip and you can damage the axle, then you have to Okay, it's coming guys. It's coming. It's going to drop when it comes out. Be prepared. I'll try to... I cannot reach there too far away. Okay. Okay, now... Hold on a second now. That's the axle. Okay, that's the CO right here. Now the two axles should come apart. Okay, let's see, we'll need to take them apart here, okay? The CO, careful not to damage it. It has one lip that it needs to jump over. And I need to get a... Okay, perfect. Okay, we'll have one washer here that will come out. Probably. Let's see. Let's pay attention. Okay, it's a little bit stuck. Probably has dirt or something stuck in it. Let me just go ahead. Okay. Okay, what do we need now? Okay, a little bit of PP blaster. Let's apply a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Okay, the camera fell, I'm sorry, but we're trying here everything we can, okay, to get that thing out. And I'm still wondering why it doesn't come out. Practically, it should come out with no problems, guys. Let me investigate a little bit. So, we did some research, guys. All we have to do, grab it with two hands and pull. There is some plastic tea that are holding, but I wasn't in a comfortable position. I had to come to the front. And if you pay attention, those are the plastic feet, teeth. And we are able to remove the assembly now. Okay, that thing, make sure it's in good condition, replace it if it's not. Okay, and we marked everything good. And we're ready to put everything together in reverse order, guys. Okay, that we took everything apart. We need to clean the news, the shaft. Let's turn that light on a little bit. Can we turn the light because it's actually, okay, blinding me? Okay, uh, all we have to do now just, it can be on top, but just to face the other way, the light. Okay, perfect. Okay, hell, just like that, that's great. So, uh, you can see guys, all we have to do, just clean that and then we'll be uh, ready to install the new bearing. Uh, remember how it goes. And the, the shoulder part will go on top from what we saw. So we're going to clean the shaft there, okay, where the bearing will go. Spray, wipe, get a clean coat, wipe really good. Later we're going to apply new grease to the, to the shaft as well. <laughs> the exhaust will be stinky the first 5-10 minutes we drive the car. We spread it multiple times. So let's get a new bearing now. So we started the new bearing, let us show you guys what we're doing. We lubricated really good with uh, engine oil, leaky moly, <laughs> we even with Ceratec additive so it can go easier. Uh, and we got a small screwdriver, you have to be extremely careful not to hit the uh, bearing seal, only on the bottom part of the bearing. And you just go a little bit, turn the shaft, so it's at a comfy position, go again. Check it out now. Okay, go again, and that way we can do it without a press, guys. Let's see if it's done. A little bit more. Okay, let's turn it more. I hear on metal, hitting on metal now. 
a little bit more. It's getting there. I think that's it. Yep, that's good. So, at that point, we need to put the drive shaft. Okay, we're going to get some fresh grease. So let me go ahead and grab that and we'll continue. So you can see the bearing is ready guys. Okay, that's how we uh, practically replace drive shaft support bearing on BMW X3, X4. Putting everything together is in reverse order. We took it apart. I would recommend to replace the flex joint on the phone that attaches okay, to the transfer case right here. Uh, we'll just remove that one outside since we got it out with the drive shaft, replace it and put everything together. Make sure that you align the two shafts where you mark them so you don't have vibrations. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.